Hello there, I'm the Microwave Man, and today I will teach you how to get started on Dwarves vs. Zombies. Now, how do you get started you may ask? Well, let us first start off at spawn. In the spawn area, you can't really do much besides the quest line. This is because, in order to fully play the game, you must complete the tutorial quests. This is so that you get a hang of the game's mechanics without getting confused. To move around fast on the map, press F and move at the same time to run. However, before we move on, there is a life meter above your head. You only got one life. Don't get killed or else you will turn into a zombie. Also, be warned, if you also die, you will lose all your gold that isn't stored, so find a bank to store it by going to where Razir is. Now, let us move on to tutorial quests, shall we? First, you need to collect some wood. You must collect a certain number of wood. To do this, use the axe in your hand to chop trees down. You must be next to a tree to chop it. You can also harvest the branches of the tree for wood by clicking on them as well. Once you have chopped the amount of wood you need, you must then use the sickle you got to chop some of the wheat that is growing. Do the same thing but be next to the wheat to harvest it. Once you get a certain amount of wheat, you will receive a pickaxe. Once you get the pickaxe, go to the mine where Razier is and begin using the pickaxe to mine rocks. Again, be next to the rocks and click to harvest stone. You can also mine gunpowder and coal here as well, but we will explain its use in another video. Once you do that, you will be rewarded with enough gold to purchase a plot. Make sure you find a cheap plot though, as plots tend to be expensive at times. The best plots are within the city walls, however, you also have the option of building your stuff outside of town. However, if any zombies get near your buildings, they will trash it and you gotta spend resources propping them up again. Anyways, almost forgot to mention that you have a free plot that you can use in-game and you don't need to spend as much gold purchasing plots. To build, go over here and click the plot sign. You can build anything you want there. Certain types of buildings will put you on a different dwarf team depending on what you build. For example, if you build a guardhouse, you will be put on the guard team. If you just build a house, then nothing will change besides you getting a little shelter from any disasters that may come. Now that you know the basics of the game, let us quickly go through where everything is before we end the video. This is the protest area. If you don't like the king, you may do a dance by stepping on the protest area to show how much you disapprove of the king. This is the palace. Defend this area at all costs. You must also check the palace constantly to see if any zombies manage to sneak in to deal damage to the palace. This is the food area. Over here you can sell food and it will be added to the total food stored in the granary. You can also buy food for some gold, and you can eat it by selecting the food item in your inventory and clicking to eat. This is the market area. This is where you sell your stones and wood at. There is a different marketplace though that sells other stuff, as we will discuss in another video. This is the bandit camp. This is where bandits go to do bandit business at. Zombies won't usually touch this area, so until then don't bother them if you are a bandit. This is the zombie area. You can't really go into the zombie spawn. Unless you want to spawn kill zombies as a guard then don't do it. Anyways, this should cover everything you need to know about getting started on this game. To end it off, please like, comment, and subscribe for more Razier content. Anyways folks I will be seeing you then. Bye now.